Hello, I'm Isaac Siever, Superintendent of Lebanon City Schools. Many of you have had the opportunity to, to interact with this so far this school year. One of the things I love is to be out in the schools, to be at sporting events, musical events, to see the students and what's going on in our district. Sometimes I have the opportunity to share things district-wide and today I'm choosing to take a video. I want, to, I want to talk to you about some of the things we're experiencing in our district, set up where we're going as a district, and share with you some of the things that are just near and dear to me at this point in time. And, and as the leader of our district, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. So I'm a parent. I have three kids that attend Lebanon City Schools. I love this city. We've moved here several years ago, and I want the best for our students. I want the best for our community. I think it's important for us to make sure that we all have a clear message, we're speaking a similar language, and we all have the same expectations as we head into uh, the summer and next school year as well. I, I want to start by sharing one of my own personal stories with you today. I, I think it's important that, that we share stories. Stories are valuable. They give us a lot of lessons that we can learn. And so I want to talk to you about my childhood growing up. I grew up in a very loving home. I loved my parents. I had an older brother and a younger sister. And one of the things that was common in my house was teasing. It was a way of showing love for each other. I, you know, it was, I loved being able to burn my brother or get my sister with something really good. We teased all the time. It was just a way of communication for us. And I just thought that was kind of how everybody did it. Um, I went to college. I met my uh, now wife, Emily, and uh, went home to meet her family for the first time. And I immediately think of this relationship with family as something that is open, that we can tease, that we can play, and it was playful. And I had a conversation with her mom, my mother-in-law, very early on, and, and she talked to me about teasing. And what I didn't recognize about the situation for her was as a child, her older brothers teased her a lot. Uh, it was traumatic, uh, something she didn't enjoy, enjoy doing. And she said something to me that, that has really shaped kind of my, my perspective about this topic and how we, we interact with each other, how we value and respect each other. And she said, you know, Isaac, every bit of teasing um, has some truth in it. You know, and I think about that for a moment and I thought, you know, that's not true. I'm not, I'm not making fun of you. But I realized that, you know, some of the best burns I ever had with my brother or my sister, some of the, the things that I thought the, I was the most proud of were the ones that had a little glimmer of like truth in it. And you left them thinking like, is he, is he being serious? What's going on here? And so I think we all can, can realize this, right? That like teasing is in some places in my family, a way of expressing love and adoration for each other. It was a way we connected with each other. But I had to quickly learn and understand that in my, my wife's family, specifically with my mother-in-law, it wasn't going to be okay. Um, it wasn't something that was going to be accepted. It wasn't loving uh, for them. And I've had to balance those two things, right? My personal life with my own family and now my new family, uh, how, do I, how do I interact and how do I fit in with those two families differently? You know, one of the things that we, we really try to do at Lebanon City Schools is to build community. Right? That's our mission. What does it look like when we build community? What does it look like when we, when we interact with each other in a respectful way and, and treat each other in such a way that, that we come together and not be divided? And uh, this example for me in my own personal life has taught me several lessons. I just want to take a few moments today to talk to you about um, some things that we're experiencing at Lebanon City Schools and hopefully um, looking forward to how do we have a common language around how we treat each other. Why is my story with my mother-in-law um, important to this topic? Well, first of all, I think the important thing to, to, to learn here is um, that words have power. Um, words matter. The things that we say to each other, the words that we use to communicate with each other, they carry a lot of weight. Um, they carry a lot of power. And, and so we can use words to hurt and harm other people. We can use words to build each other up. When we talk about building community, one of the things that we talk about is how do we build each other up? How do we get better um, as a whole? And so that's one of the things that um, I think is important for us to consider as we talk about how we, we live in community with each other inside of our school buildings, inside of the community at large. Uh, the second thing um, is that teasing, uh, when it's goes on and on and on it can become bullying teasing in some ways is a form of like connecting with your friends right like that's just something we say to each other I don't really mean it but the reality is in some of those circumstances we have no idea what the other student um, that's receiving that information or those words what their experiences are how are they going to receive that how are they going to process that? And one of the things we've talked about recently in some of our communications that have gone home to your families and some of the communications we've had in our buildings is we're going to prioritize the impact over the intent. 
You know, one of those excuses I used to use a lot as a kid and still do at times is like, oh, I was just teasing. You know, I didn't mean anything about it. I was just playing around. That talks about the intent, right? What you, what you thought you were communicating to uh, the other person. When we talk about impact is how is it received? How do, they, how do they receive that information? What is the impact on them as a person? This could be teasing. This could be um, offensive or hurtful words. Uh, this could be things you know, that talk about them um, in other ways. And so uh, the impact of those words matter. For my mother-in-law, the impact was, was a trauma that took her back to a situation where her older brothers picked on her as a kid, and she didn't want to feel that way anymore. I didn't know that. My intent was to be playful and loving. And so how do we how do we possibly how do we possibly navigate the scenario where you know I was just teasing turns into a situation where uh, that's not how I meant it? Um, it's important for us to remember the people that we communicate with, the community that we're trying to build, and to think about other people. Um, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we we've talked about um, a letter that I sent home to your families. We talked about the issues we're experiencing in our buildings. Um, some of those issues were racial. Some of those issues were, you know, bigoted or biased behavior. And and what people wanted was a list, right? What are the words I can and cannot say? What are the things that I can tell my kid or I can say to to kids in our buildings? Don't say these words; they're offensive. And what I think is more important for us to think about is how do we instead build a culture of respect in our buildings? How do we instead begin to think about other people and, um, and to think about the impact of the words or the actions that we have? It's not about a list of words that will get you in trouble. It's about a, it's about a culture um, that respects and values differences that builds a safe and inclusive environment for all students to come to school. And so a couple things we're gonna be working on as we roll out into next school year, and you're gonna hear a lot, right? They're gonna be on walls, they're gonna be in newsletters, they're gonna be on the website, and we're gonna have lessons around it. But there are three key words um, that Lebanon City Schools that we're gonna focus on as positive behaviors. I think if we can do these three things, our school district will be better, our community of Lebanon will be better, um, we'll be better people able to go out into the workforce and translate these skills uh, as we go go forward.